प्रग कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशंस फॉर अ फिनोमिनल परफॉर्मेंस एट द ग्लोबल चेस लीग यू स्कोर्ड एट एंड हाफ आउट ऑफ टेन डिड यू लाइक योर परफॉर्मेंस डिड यू लाइक योर क्वालिटी ऑफ प्ले एंड डिड यू एन्जॉय द ग्लोबल चेस लीग या आई लाइक माई गेम्स ओवरऑल एंड देर आर देर आर लाइक कपल ऑफ गेम्स वेर आई वॉज नॉट प्लेइंग वेल एंड गॉट बिट लकी लाइक अगेंस्ट निहाल इन वन ऑफ द गेम्स विद ब्लैक एंड ऑल्सो योनस Uh, with in the white game, uh, I blended this tactic with queen. Did, takes did you side. see that rook f4, g f4, then rook b2 takes queen d4? Yeah, actually, d4. There, it was quite a nice lines there. Like rook f4, uh, there's g f4. Also, there's rook h4 move, oh. where the win is queen c8. And if g takes f4, c d4, and then queen comes to c2 to mate. Nice. So it's a nice idea. And also rook f4, g f4, queen f4, king b1, rook b2. You have to spot and rook d2. B6 you have to spot. So. Yes, rook d2 b6. Yeah, I spotted rook d2 b6 during the game. I didn't see king b1 rook b2. I also didn't see rook h4 queen c8. Uh-huh. But okay, we didn't have much time. That he actually was uh, worse out of the opening, but he then converted into. Yeah, no, I was playing well till a certain point, and I wanted like instead of this queen d2 e3, I wanted to play king f1 or mm-hmm. just direct e3. But uh, I went queen d2 e3. I I saw that f3 square is weak. And if you remove the knight, knight is coming to f3. But for some reason, I only considered bishop f6 or rook f5 to take take the knight. I just didn't see that queen g5 existed. Luckily, you had long castle. Still, I'm dead. Last yeah, that's because. minus anyway. But there were other games also which were very uh, interesting. I think, uh, as you said, your game with Nihal was very nice. Uh, the first game, I, I mean, it was filled with many tactics, right? Yeah. Also, that win he had was very nice. Like queen c2. Uh, queen c2 rook b2 bb3 bishop c4 yeah yeah that was very nice study like one yeah that was very cool uh, and also i think uh, against sindarov it was a very crucial win that you scored right uh, sort of uh, yeah that win. match i think magnus lost yeah and then others were drawn yes you i think because of you your team won in the yeah. end you managed to trap his it was equal that game yeah it It was equal, but uh, after I got this move c5 and somehow able to break the center, I think uh, it's already like White has to be a little careful. And then I got this rook to f6, queen e1, and his king got uh, very weak. And then yeah, it was very hard to difficult, uh, very hard to defend, and then he collapsed. Yeah. Right. And I think one game which was amazing was your uh, win against Raunak in round one. Because there you trapped his rook, and I think that happened. And then you had to bring your king all the way to take away all the squares. It was very visually nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, that game. Yeah, usually doesn't blend a such tactic, but I just wanted to keep on playing there with uh, rook knight three pawns, um, bishop three pawns, but he has double pawns. Um, yeah, I don't have much. I don't have any risk. I just have to keep on playing, and then yeah, I blended with this point. It it ended up a very crucial win for mm-hmm. the team. Right. Yeah. So how was it overall for you playing for the SG Alpine Warriors? Yeah, overall it was a lot of fun, and uh, also playing some training games with Magnus, uh, discussing some chess was yeah was very. It was a very good opportunity for us, and also I think team management yeah they took uh, great care of us. And uh, we had yard party, and even after uh, losing the like, uh, after not qualifying, we went for a team dinner uh, outside. It was a they, they you went to a very nice restaurant. I yeah, think. it was, was great. Some seven course meal or something. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. Uh, and yeah, we enjoyed a lot. Uh, we also had uh, Yuzi uh, mm. Char coming in to support us. So I think overall it was just a uh, very exciting event. But the result didn't go in our favor, right? Right. Yeah, it happens, I guess. I think Magnus said very nice things about you in an interview as well. He said that uh, there is one secret to our team doing well, and that is you. And he also spoke nice things about your play. Uh, w- did you see that? Yeah, I think I saw the quote. Yeah. Did you? Uh, did, did it feel good that you know Magnus uh, was? Of course, he always sees your games. You've beaten him also, but now. He was in your team, and you could sort of win more very crucial games there. Yeah, it felt nice. Uh, uh, 
yeah to hear such words from him yeah yeah i mean i'm just happy yeah. yes like with the play. and did you get time to as you said there were some training sessions uh did you get time with magnus because a lot of people were very excited that you gukesh and arjun would get time to spend with magnus here did that happen yeah uh, we, as i said we were playing some training games and um we are going to some team dinners together um, so in team dinners um, me arjun gukesh we would just try to take up some position or something or some random game that's going on life just to talk about some chess with magnus so we then show it to magnus and then you start to go on yeah on and on and yeah we were discussing many uh, interesting positions and i th- remember one of the days on the one of the first days we had lunch we i think we went around 1 or something and we went till like 4 4:30 and then 5 we had to directly go for a team meeting so we were just discussing chess throughout so it was a lot of i i think when magnus sees chess he really enjoys discussing it right yes uh, i have also felt that that he uh, he might in interviews many people ask him lot of different questions and but when it's about chess he is just doesn't care about anything else he loves to analyze yeah and i think you guys were able to sort of analyze with him uh, what did you feel when you were analyzing was it like uh, some different ideas and all that you could gain from that or how is it like when you analyze with such a strong player no his so understanding is very good uh, like Uh, in end game central he kind of um he can quickly assess the position how it is uh yeah that's a yeah that's like was impressive for me you know i had heard one uh, podcast of uh, nakamura with lex friedman and he spoke about his match with magnus that he played after a tournament they played some 40 blitz games yeah i also heard. you you heard that and then he said that after that it was a big mistake because then magnus just understood me very well and i could never beat him did you do you feel that thing when you analyze with someone like magnus or uh, that you are also understanding him well he is also getting to know you better or you don't think about these things uh yeah i'm definitely trying to understand him like how he thinks but i don't think he's really paying attention to what <laughs> uh like trying to understand me yeah. i mean i think for uh, like me gukesh arjun we were very curious to see how magnus thinks like what are his first candidate moves yeah mm. like in presentation and stuff yeah. and they were different from what you guys were thinking or yeah like they were uh, like as i said yeah in end games he was just very strong in evaluating the positions and he knew like where exactly to enter if you have to make a draw and so on so thanks uh, prag for these insights uh, personally i was also very interested to know what happened between magnus and all of you guys so thanks for sharing this and also uh, huge congratulations you are the player of the tournament and uh, you played amazingly well it was a pleasure following you and good luck for your next events yeah thanks uh, i also thanks to you yeah because of you i think this league is happening with that stream on chess base india Yes, so, Samai and yeah. me and uh, there were many people who. Yeah, I remember played. that day. I mean, we were playing the online Olympiad. So I just, yeah, yeah, it's just a big thing for us. No? Right, so, a lot of people have now come in. Lot more owners, yeah. Tech Mahindra, and I think it will have more events will come up. Yeah, congrats, Prag. Yeah, thank you.